do animals in the ocean see? Well, let's find out. Do sea stars have eyes? We have seen them on cartoons, but have you ever seen a real sea star's eye? Believe it or not, they actually do have eyes. Not like an eye like us, but instead they have something called an eye spot. But where is it? It's not on the top, it's not on the bottom, but it's on the end of its arm. Let's take a closer look. Do you see the slightly yellowish part on the tip of its arm? Since it's not a true eye like ours, it's called an eye spot. Unfortunately, the sea star can't see shapes or colors, but it can see light or dark. Let's take a second and try to see what they see. This is the top of our kelp forest exhibit. We can even see the divers getting ready to get in. Now if we were sea stars, this is what we would see. Can't really see anything, only light and dark, and shades in between. It's hard to tell if it's daytime or nighttime. Is that a predator, or is it prey making those shadows? Well, that's why they rely on their other senses to help them in their environment. Now let's go back to our normal eyesight. Oh look! There's the diver again! Not all of the animals in the ocean have the same vision as a sea star. For example, let's take a look at an octopus's eye. You see how the pupil is horizontal and spans the whole eye? This design allows them to see a panoramic view. By having this means they don't have a blind spot like humans do. Their pupil can also focus like a camera moving in and out. Having great eyesight allows this animal to do other amazing things like camouflage. Because the octopus can change the color of its skin and also texture, this allows the octopus to be a master in blending in with its surroundings. Another fascinating animal is our California halibut. It is a flatfish because it looks like it's laying on its side. But did you know that when they are born, they look like most other fish and that they are right side up? As they develop, they will slowly shift so they will become flatfish. In this process, their eye that will be on the underside will migrate either around the head or through the head so that both eyes are on the same side of its body. And just like the octopus, they are a master of disguise. Can you find the halibut? They are able to change the color of their skin as well so that they blend in with the sand. They are also very still and don't move except for their eyes. They are very observant and amazing predators. Have you ever noticed how most of the fish in our exhibit are very dull or neutral coloration? This is a defense mechanism and it helps them camouflage in with their surroundings. Not all fish need to blend in with their surroundings. For example, have you ever seen a bright orange fish in our exhibit? This is the California State Marine Fish, it's called the Garibaldi. The Garibaldi isn't a very big fish, but it definitely has a lot of spirit. They have been known to defend themselves and their nests with tenacity. They will go after other Garibaldis, other species of fish, regardless of size, and even divers that enter their territory. That being said, they will not go after juvenile Garibaldis. The juveniles have a special coloration to help distinguish from the adults. They are orange, but they have bright iridescent blue dots on their body. This is another reason why vision is very important to animals in the ocean. There are some fish that instead of blending into their surroundings, they do something called countershading. That's when there is a color contrast from the top of their body from the underside of their body. Usually the top of the fish's body is dark because if you look towards the bottom of the ocean, it gets darker. If you look at the underside of the fish, it's lighter because if you look up, you will see the sunlight coming down. That was our giant sea bass, and you can clearly see the contrast, but sharks are extremely obvious when it comes to counter shading. Here is our leopard shark. The top is dark gray and almost black, while the bottom is nearly white in coloration. This is an excellent example of counter shading. Sometimes you need good vision not only to camouflage in your environment, or even for counter shading. There are some fish that will change colors based on if it's a male or a female. Here is our California sheephead. The females are mostly pink with a white chin. The males, on the other hand, have black head and tail and a pink stripe down the middle of their body. As you can tell, vision plays an important part to surviving in the ocean. I hope this gave you a better understanding how animals in the ocean can see.